welcome back to The Couch. We're going to talk uh, Town Hall and a fantastic event that's happening here in Perth. It's a supper club. If you haven't caught it, it's happening in the month of July and August. We've still got two more to go. It's on the last Friday of every month. And to talk to us today, we've got a couple of the storeholders and a couple of the goers that are there every occasion. They are, of course, I'm, I'm, I'm going to attempt the name. We've been practising off air. It's, of course, Shri. Yeah. And, and what was the surname again? <laughs> The Rising Gang. Oh, you got it right. Got well it right, done. Yeah. Thank you very much. And you're from Rage and Cage. Yes, I am. Thank you very much. And you talk about ribs and you cook ribs. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Now, this one here is a lot easier. Kylie Cunningham. Yeah. And you're from uh, Cafe Oronye. Oronye. And you specialise in poffages. Poffages, yeah. Poffages? Yep. I could have said it easier. Poffages. Yeah. Now, what are poffages? Dutch mini pancakes. And they are in front of me for those Rain. people who are wondering why I'm covered in cakes. Yeah. <laughs> These are amazing. Firstly, tell me about your style of cooking. So, well, my hus husband is Dutch, <clears throat> so we decided to open a Dutch food store. So we um, specialise in the poffages for the moment, and then during the Winter Supper Club we also have uh, Dutch hot chocolate as well that we have on offer. Yep. So it's just simple and nice, and I make all the sauces myself as well. That's what I was so going to ask you. You make everything yourself. Everything isn't it? myself. Now, yeah. We've got four flavours here. Tell me the flavours that I've got. I'll hold them up to the so camera. You can tell me what they are. That's our choc Nutella, which is. Would like you like me to try them as we talk? I'll try one of each. Means. Okay, let's let's try it. Okay, so this one's choc Nutella. Correct. Mmm. <laughs> nice. This one here. Nice. This one is our traditional, which is butter and icing sugar. Traditionally, the, the Dutch just eat them slathered in butter mm. and icing sugar, and that's actually quite nice. It's quite delicious. <laughs> You realise I'm going to have all of these in my mouth. I won't be able to yeah, call no. you up and do yourself. <laughs> and this one here is awesome. It's got like a sauce on it. What's it's out my homemade lemon curd. So lemon curd? Yeah, lemon curd. It's quite zesty. Put that one over here. Over there. This That's my favourite so far. And this one here? And this one is our best seller. That's my homemade salted caramel. Did you say salted caramel? Salted caramel, which we're actually looking at bottling because it's such a favourite. I might put these two here. Yep. Because they are my favourites now. Where can we catch you in Perth? Because I know you're up at the Calamunda Markets as well. You've got stalls up there. Yeah. But is that the only place we can catch you? So if we go to the Supper Club? We go to the Supper Club. I'm, um, uh, during, during summer we were there. F we were in the Hawker's Market in the city as well. Mm -hmm. So most Perth events. And we've, we've also done the Chinese New Year alongside of Perth. And um, pretty much anywhere. So for those people the, who the haven't joy been, of a mobile business is the, we can be anywhere. Now, the Winter Supper Club in the Town Hall, what can we expect? If I was to go there, I know it starts at about 4 o'clock. Yeah, around 4, 4.30. And what can we expect when we go there? Uh, absolute beautiful flavours from throughout around the world. Um, so you go, you can go on a, a great tour of the world and through your taste buds in the evening and just beautiful music playing in the background. It's quite a nice, relaxed event. Um, it's all under the arches of the town hall and then in the little alleyway in behind as well. It's a, a very cultural thing, isn't it? Yeah, it brings the city cool. alive, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. Shri, I'll bring you in on this. Tell us about Rage and Cajun. What's that all about? Rage and Cajun. I started that about four years ago because mm. um, I was into... Um, my ex-partner was from Louisiana, Louisiana, Texas. And so um, I came back to uh, Perth after four years living in Malaysia and decided to do a food business and I realised that no one's doing like the Louisiana Southern Comfort style of food. Cajun so, food. Cajun food. Mm. So I do all the gumbos, the jambalayas and the ribs and pulled pork. How have you found Australians sort of turning to your food? Do they like it? They love it. Yeah, they're saying it's different where has it been? How come they haven't tried it before? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, a lot of people try to, a lot of people hesitate in tasting new foods but um, you give them taste testers and all that. What's the difference? Tell me why it's cooked different. Why, why is it better or why is it different? Oh, we have, we marinate our, our meat our products really, really well and then cook it for about six hours. Six hours? About six hours. So it's not something you just come in and say, look, I'll have a couple of spare ribs and you just throw it on the barbie and no. heat it up. It's six hours. It's is six that marinated or is that cooked? Marinated and cooked. Wow, that's six like slow hours. cooking. Yeah. Locally. So I'm assuming that when, if I had one of your ribs in front of me, which you forgot to bring in, <laughs> but I'll just pretend for the sake of television, would it be like melting your mouth? Oh, you would be like holding it. So no, it I would fall. probably be like this. Yeah. <laughs> but that's like, let's just be delicate about it. So it is quite tender. It's very nice. tender, yeah. Is it pork, beef? What sort it's of meat? It's pork ribs. It's all pork? Yeah. Yum. And 
finger looking good. The reason for you guys being at the market, what do you what do you like about it? Why should other people come and join you there? The environment. It, it's good to uh, see people come down and enjoy everyone's food and just talk to new people. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Ex experiencing things outside of their everyday life. Now, can we catch your food anywhere? I know I asked you yeah. before, Kylie. Where else can we get your food if we don't get it at the town hall? At the town <laughs> Probably nowhere. Pre no, pretty much everywhere. <laughs> yeah. We're, you have to go to the town hall supper market. You must go to the town hall supper clubs. Yep. Then you can talk to us, uh, follow us on Facebook, yep. um, through our business Facebook page. Give pages. me your websites. So, my Facebook page is cafearonia.oz at Facebook. We've so got it on screen yeah. right now. And... Um, Mine is uh, www.ragingcajuncatering.com.au. Do you like the, the idea of supper clubs? Do you hope it catches on even in summer yeah. and winter? Yeah, I, I absolutely love it because it just you see so many people, you meet so many people, and it's, lo it's great to be able to be cooking something that you love and yeah. seeing people enjoy it yeah. there and then. How, how many and come back food for stores more? would there be? Like, I know you, you're two, you wouldn't be able to cater for the millions of people that come I wish along. We could, but Are we there, can't. We You'd try want our best. To, I suppose. <laughs> how many, have we got a lot of stores there? So, for people who don't yeah. like uh, these yeah, or like there's... ribs, is there other food? Yeah, yeah there there's... is other stores there as well. Um, usually in the town hall, which is quite compact as well. Mm -hmm. There's about 20 food stalls there. 20 yeah. food yeah. stalls? Ranging oh. from dessert, right? Could you imagine food, letting yeah, me loose on this food oh, hill? I reckon I need to speak to <laughs> Di from tour. City of Perth. I need to be an inspector for the council. Because yeah. we need to make sure the food is of high standard. Or oh, yeah. Whatever <laughs> standard suits me. I love the idea. But not only is there food, can I just tell people, you've got the singers and strings down there as mm -hmm. well, presented by the City of Perth. On August and uh, July coming up, we've got a couple of great people. In July, you've got the Hot Bluegrass, a style of music which is, of course, a quartet, which is uh, known as Sparrow. They're a fantastic local quartet. They're going to be great. And in August, you've got the Spooky Men of the West Blokes. It's an cappella, and they're going to be there. So please go down and support them. So there's music. There's, there's music. an upper level, a lower level. There's a lot of fun. Is it free to go in? Free. Yes, it yep. is. But the food's not free. Oh. But uh, the prices are really good. You're supporting a great function. It's called the Winter Supper Club, brought to you by the City of Perth. Who else but the great City of Perth? Congratulations on Thank your food. You. It is awesome. Thank you for coming in. I would have liked to have tried the ribs, but I'm going to have to come down to the Supper Club yeah. and try it myself. Maybe I'll get a free sample. I'll definitely what do you give you, you through definitely it? Give you if a free I really, sample. Shri, if, if I practice your, um, your name yep. really well, yeah. <laughs> can you say it one more time for me? <laughs> The Rising Gam. No, the first name. A uh, three. Yeah, I know. I mean, yeah. That's right. <laughs> You're wonderful people. Thank you very much Thank for taking you. part. We look forward to trying your food in detail. And if you'd like to go down, please check out our website, thecouch.com.au, or you can check the City of Perth website that's on screen right now. And please support this uh, fantastic venture. It's a great occasion. It's a good time to bring all your family down, enjoy some relaxed, funky music in a great city, and check out the city at the same time. It's on a Friday night, the last Friday of every month. You've only got two more. One in July, one in August. For details, check out our website or the council website. Thank you for coming in. You're welcome. Thank you for having us. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to try some of this food. And if you missed any of the details, this is how you can get more information. If you're looking for more info on anything you've seen on today's show, head to thecouch.com.au. It's where you'll find all the links for our guests, plus clips from the show, backstage photos, and even exclusive movie reviews. You can also sign up as a couchie and be part of our competitions, including Spin It to Win It. New Zealand viewers, that's open to you too. So jump online and check it out now. thecouch.com.au